Hey guys, I'll just be going through question 4.4 today. The, um, showing you the, uh, the three configurations for the, this particular question. Both of which are in the, for the AB symbolic, again, like the last question, that's probably going to, it's going to be the only thing you may screw up. If you're going to screw up anything, I personally still don't know how to properly derive these based on the, um, the layout of the circuitry. If if I've I've posted a I posted on the uh, the wall. If anyone can actually enlighten me on it, it'd be great because then I'll put up another video and explain it to everyone else who's having trouble. But for the meantime, I'll just explain uh, what symbolic expressions were for uh, whatever diagram that you may be given when you're examining for this question. Uh, and like I said, there are two. Um, different layouts that you can have. I'll start with this one, which is a pretty simple one. Both of which you don't need to use R5 in the AV symbolic expression. Uh, you may get it, you may not. Like I'll just generate here, so it disappears there. Having the R5 there doesn't change anything with the expression. Like it doesn't appear here, but if I do it again, it'll, it, yep, there it goes, it appears back. But then finally yet yeah, it does not appear anywhere in any of the expressions it's only r1 through r4 so now let's go back to the original one excellent um basically i've 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 labeled these two two different configurations as a t configuration and a dual terminal configuration this one is the dual terminal one so you've got resistors uh attached to the positive and the negative terminal, the positive terminal being the input. The expression for this equation, the, the equation, but yeah, this, this uh, configuration is as it is written here, you'll see in the file, uh, it is this one, just to make sure. Um, ba basically, it's a uh, one of the outputs, uh, one of the the resistor on the ground, multiplied by the uh, the sum of the uh, the opposite resistors. On top of the uh, that that's for the positive terminal, and on top of the resistor for the ground, times the sum of the resistors on the that's from the negative terminal. Uh, difficult to explain, but you get the general gist, and it it. it I've done it in the same way as I did the last question where I've assumed that the resistors go in this particular pattern. This top left one is R1, followed by R2 next to it, and then going down it's R3, the bottom left and bottom right is R4, again ignoring R5. So if, you, if you'd watched the previous video you'll know what I'm about to do. Uh, just copy that into there and replace them. So R1 is R1, so that stays fine. R2 is R3, so we will change that there. R2, R3 ends up being R2, so anywhere we see a capital R3, we'll change to R2, and R4 is R4, so we don't need to change that. That'll end up being our uh, symbolic expression. And for the Mathematica file, what you end up doing uh, you plug in your resistor values to 100, 18k, 2000, and then you select the configuration. I've labeled able to hear the T configuration is one, and you can put any any other number for dual terminal, but just put just two or zero. Just make sure it's not one. That's the only check that it does. And um, shift enter. And here we go, we have our results here. Basically all this does is it checks what configuration it has and it applies the appropriate um, calculations for AV and the input resistance. Oh, that side makes it easier. 600, and then if we hit try, 100%, no worries. And I'll just get uh, the other configuration, here we go, the other configuration here. The uh, the difference for this one being that the assumption is 
the left left to right resistors R1 to R4, so the leftmost one is R1, then followed by R2, then R3, then R4. And that uses uh, this top equation here. So if we plug that in and then do our little replacing thing, R1 ends up being R3, R2 stays the same, R4 ends up being, sorry, R3, sorry, ends up being R4, and R4 ends up being R1. And then that will be our expression. Uh, change that to configuration 1 for the deconfiguration, plugging in our values. And here are our values. I found that, um, don't, don't quote me on this, but uh, for this particular configuration, the AV tends to be a uh, negative thing. Of course it is, it's inverting. Never mind. Don't be there. Just a stupid moment. Yeah, we're hitting try. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> Don't make those stupid mistakes. Make sure that you double check your resistor values. Inputting that into there, the proper value. And then we get 100%. Not going to edit that out, just for a lesson. And yeah, so that's it for this one. I'll be putting up uh, 4.5, the uh, dodgy way to do 4.5 a little bit later. Good luck.